Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top Interview Question and Answer Series. And in today's episode, the question is, what is the role of break and continue statements? The here, the interviewer is trying to understand if there are any use cases that you have come across in looping or in iterations where you had to use break or continue, right? So explain him what the break and continue statements are and then talk about your experience where you have used it. So when you explain break statement, explain that whenever we want to come out of a particular loop, we use the break statement. Let's say for example, if the ID is equal to equal to 10, come out of the loop. That's a valid use case, right? Because the condition is met, you're saying break. That means stop the loop and come out. Continue means continue doing the current loop with a new recurrence. That means take the next value and continue the loop, right? Let me quickly show you that in code. So if you are building, let's say a uh, for loop, right? So if you say let i is equal to zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus, right? So let's say you have a loop like this. Now, if you say if i is equal to equal to 5 right what are you doing you're breaking that means come out of the loop right if i is equal to equal to say 4 don't do anything continue that means just continue right for everything else just do a console log right so what should happen? It will it go till 10? You what do you think it will go? Let's see. So let me show you here. Let me go to console. Let me open the console. Refresh. Alrighty, right? So here we are. Now let's call this get status by ID. Let's say um, on load I'm calling it. It's a bad idea to call anything on load, but just for this quick reference, I'm doing it. All right, so now you see 0, 1, 2, 3, right? It does 4. It does the fourth loop and then continues, goes to 5, breaks. Now let me show you that. Instead of putting it to 5, I'll put it to, say, 8. So it will do 1, 2, 3. It will come to 4. It will continue, right? It will go back here and then it will print five six seven let's see so one two three it did four it went to loop five six seven right this is how break and continue statements work in javascript i hope it's clear to you i hope you will be able to answer it when you are asked in interviews stay tuned i will be bringing more such interview questions to help you prepare for your dream job till then Keep learning, keep growing. Thank you so much for joining. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Art Tutorials. Thank you.